Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and I'm a dyslexic here to help other dyslexics. Today we are going to be talking about multiplication. So if your child struggles to understand multiplication and learning the facts, this video is for you. Let's get into it. With multiplication, once I figured out how to make it visual, it became so much easier for my students to learn multiplication because they got to see it. They got to see how it worked instead of just memorizing the facts. With this, the easiest strategy is arrays. And so that is the number it's being multiplied by, by the number, and then all of them filled in. And so once I started making them visual, it became so much easier for my students. And so here is one of the things, unfortunately, these cards do take a while to make, but once you have them, they are fantastic. And storing them is kind of hard because they just don't lay flat. But I take little pom-poms and hot glue them to cards. And so here is an array, seven times three. And so you can see we've got three, and then we've got seven, or you could turn it and you could go seven times three or three times seven and you make it visual. And then if they need to, especially the first time, they can go in and count and touch every single pom-pom. So here's this one. So seven times three is 21. This makes it easy and visual for the student, but then it also becomes tactile because they can touch it and feel it. Here is another one. This is six times five. So I've got five going across up here and six going down. Or you could go six times five is 30. And so basically there really is just two steps to this. Say the fact and then touch and count if they need to get the answer. And so I've got a couple of tricks for this, and the easiest ones really are zero, because anything times zero is zero. So you can literally give them a blank card, or you can write all the facts out, and zero is the easiest one to understand. Another one that makes this easier for students is when we do one. And so this is one times six, is six. Instead of like one plus six is seven, this is when it's multiplied by itself, it is that number. And so here are six. So one times six is six. And here's that and they can touch it. I love these cards. It does take time. You can find them if they don't need the tactile part and just make array cards and print them out. That is what I did with some of my students. But if they really need that tactile part, then I go through and make the pom-poms. And I look and I got these at the craft store and I bought the second smallest ones I could find because once you get into like the 12s, there becomes a lot of pom-poms. When you do like 12 times 12, that's 144 little dots on a card. And I would definitely recommend getting the larger index cards if you chose to go that way. But this was so much fun to create. It did take some time, but I loved seeing how my students progressed quickly when I used it with them. I will be back next week in how to do this with division. I can't wait to share that information with you. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.